can see some uh, visible changes primarily in those functional images, the resting state images. There looks like there's additional we call it coherence within the networks that we typically measure using those types of MRI assessments. So you can actually see the strength of the connections improving in those images. Mine was more of a sort of brain fog, feeling sort of like you're operating in quicksand. Qualitatively, I, I just, I felt a lot sharper mentally, uh, sharper at, at work, dealing with my colleagues, interacting with my family and friends, and I do a lot of training for triathlon, swim, bike, run events. You know, over the course of the six to eight weeks that uh, I was doing the, the headset treatments, I increased the power output on my bicycle by about 5%, which you might normally hope for over the course of a year. It has such a low side effect profile that there's really no dangers to trying it. It's a really promising technology. I think there's still a lot we don't know and a lot of research is desperately needed to move this into a space where it can be available to everybody. Uh, doing this type of research for 25 years, I think we, we're kind of onto something that might actually help people that are typically overlooked by a lot of professionals because they are really difficult to treat. Shown really to be did. significant, uh, there's still, quote, educated people that don't take it serious. And, and hopefully through this work, it will be looked at as a very important tool in fighting brain disease.